everybody, and welcome to the Hole in One Show presented by Bell Bank. I'm your host, Dave Schultz. We're here at Maple River Golf Club, just minutes west of Fargo on I-94. We're on the ninth hole, 155-yard par three. Countryside in the background, beautiful countryside in the background. The Hole in One Show is back, and it's right here at the Club in the Country. On this week's episode, we bring in six players from Osgood, probably one of the most entertaining qualifiers and entertaining groups you will ever see. I'd like to welcome in Lisa Schwinden, the PGA professional at Osgood. Welcome. Hey. Thanks for having us. You bet. Great to have you. So uh, talk about the group that you have here today. It was a really fun qualifier, and, and I really appreciate you supporting this and, and just excited for you to be here. Well, it's great to have it back. As kids, we grew up watching this show originally, and it was a lot of fun. And our Osgood guys are a lot of fun, too. Uh, we always uh, have a good time out at Osgood, and real good players, though, too. So I really expect them to uh, – somebody, somebody's going to make it today. Absolutely. So I want you to share with the viewing audience a little bit more about yourself, how long you've been in the you know, PGA professional, and how long you've been at Os Osgood. Well, I'm originally from Fargo. Uh, you and I went to high school together, so let's let's not age ourselves and say how long ago that was. But <laughs> you are a little bit younger than I am too. Um, but from Fargo, originally uh, got to play collegiately at the University of Portland out in Oregon, which I loved uh, as a former college golfer too. Sure. We you know both love that experience of getting to travel and play golf, really great. And then came back to Fargo, and I've been at Osgood since 2005. 2005. So I know hard to believe. I got my membership in 2005. Uh, did this the uh, PGA certified program in 2007. And it's been uh, it's been a great roller coaster of uh, just seeing the amazing amount of uh, growth out there on the south side of town. You've done so much for golf in the community. And when you walk in your office, there's one wall with a door, there's one with a window, there's one with some shelves, and then there's one with all of your awards. What what would your uh, most coveted award would you be proud of? You know, two years ago, I won the Minnesota Sections uh, uh, Facility Promoter of the Game um, Award, and that was really is an is honor for me to be recognized for somebody who really promotes the game. And my goal is really to get new players in, those, those players that have always been kind of the others, women, juniors, seniors, the people that have kind of been overlooked. And so to be recognized for the programs that we run out there, it was, it's really an honor for me. That's fantastic. Congratulations. So let's touch on some of those programs uh, for the ladies, for the juniors, for the seniors. Take it away. There's so many you have going on. Yeah, we've got so much stuff going on, it's hard to keep track of all of it. And that's why I always have a, my website available, golfwithlisa.com is the best place to check it out. We've got ladies group lessons, co-ed group lessons. Um, our LPGA Girls Golf Club has been an award-winning uh, girls-only program that averages 125 girls every season. That's it's awesome. super fun. It's really social. Um, we do senior lessons in the mornings that are five bucks. Um, we just do a lot of really great stuff to keep people in the game. And, and like I said, those people that have kind of been overlooked. Yeah, and so golfwithlisa.com is where people can go and get in touch with you. And I'm sure you do one-on-one -on -one lessons as well? Oh, lots of them. We've got a lot of instructors on staff as well because of, of such a, so many people want to take private lessons and get better, make the game more fun. This is a challenging game. Absolutely. And so one of the things you were sharing with me is you're going through the master's program of the PGA. You want to share with uh, everybody what that's all about? Yeah, the master professional program is the highest level of certification in the PGA right now. Uh, there are nine women in the world, and so I'm working on being number 10. Oh, Hopefully so things cool. uh, yeah. things work out and we get that done. And uh, just, just another thing for me, always trying to get better, always trying to make things better, be a better instructor, help more people. So I, I don't sit still real long. No, you, <laughs> you got a full schedule and you've done so much for golf locally, and, and I know everybody has a fun time going out to Osgood and and uh, you know Brutus Brick uh, Brutus uh, Clubhouse now right yeah amazing restaurant uh, great service great food really a fun place to just come out hang out come hit balls and have dinner have a drink relax uh, and just even if, if you're not gonna play golf it's just the patio there is phenomenal a great place to come out and put your feet up and have a beer they do a good job good food so I'll meet you over there we we'll do some color color commentary and now we'll go to our first contestant Alec Johnson come on in Hey, good to see you too, buddy. Hey, you were made for this. Come on over here. <laughs> it's great to have you on the show. Uh, like I said, one of the most entertaining qualifiers, anything in golf I've ever seen. Tell us about the last five minutes and what it took for you to make the show. It was five minutes left. You had all the boys cheering you on and said, oh, come on, one more shot, Al, get in there. So we put two balls up there. First ball was striped within four and a quarter. I like it's probably four and a half. We'll round down four and a quarter. Put it in there, and it just all the boys are cheering for you. And it was to be top qualifier, so it was a heck of a night. Awesome, awesome. So, why don't you share with the public a little bit about you? Where are you from, and where do you work? Wheaton, Minnesota is where I'm uh, originate from. Uh, Moorhead, a few years, and finished my alma mater here in Moorhead. Um, I love Fargo. I love Moorhead. Mapleton's such a fun getaway to get out here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just it's great to be out here. It's yeah, awesome. For sure. I got to hand it to you. You're just a fun guy to be around. Appreciate that. Yeah, Dave. absolutely. Great positive energy. So the whole mission statement of this show is charitable giving. So what's the charity of choice for you today? Charity of choice. I got uh, two big people backing me on that. Number one, my company, Wallwork Financial. They found out we were doing this show. 
they're all for it to bring this back. A lot of my upper management was part of the show earlier in the years when it first came out. So they actually did an additional $500 pledge oh, to the fantastic. to the Children's Miracle Network. My wife's uh, one of the head nurses, charge nurses in the PICU and NICU at Sanford Hospital. So it's just big for our whole family. It's incredible. They got Cullen's Cabin there at Sanford. We're just really big supporters of the Children's Miracle Network. Fantastic. And this is your opportunity to show your golf skills and raise some money for that cause. So, hey, two shots, 155 yards. I know you're a good player. What do you have today? We got an eight iron cavity back, very forgiving. We're going to hope we uh, <laughs> pressure doesn't give it too bad for us. No, you're dialed in. Good luck. Thanks, Dave. Or Lisa, let me tell you, this qualifying session, he came in and clutched it up we, to make the show. And not only did he get on the show, but he was the number one qualifier. Well, I appreciate the cavity back comment, too. <laughs> okay, 155 yards, a little downwind, right to left. He's got an eight iron. Good swing, turn in, come on wind. Just a little bit right of the hole. A little deep, a little mm, pumped up. Much, you wanna you go know? back down to a nine? No, nope, I'm just gonna take a little off it. Okay, he's gonna okay. feather an eight the second shot. Very good. Plus you came out a little bladed. You came out okay. not pure. All right. Well, nothing like pressure. The first player, first shot. First shot, yeah, it takes, takes a lot of guts to be the first player, but that's what happens when you're the number one qualifier. That, that is right. He's got the honor on the tee. And it's a unique situation because very rarely do you get a chance to hit a couple shots on TV. So oh, I just ever. appreciate the idea of you get to hit a second shot. <laughs> that's right, that's, that's how I Small play. Are good. All right, Alec, good try. Thanks that's for being right. part of the show. How about a round of applause for Alec Johnson, everybody? Good job, Alec. Next up, we have Jeff Hagen. Jeff Hagen, come on down. Welcome to the show. Thanks for being here with us. So why don't you share with the the folks, where are you from and, and uh, what do you do in your professional career? I'm originally from Moorhead, Minnesota. I live in Fargo now and I work at uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield. I've been there for 28 years. And you say that do they have a Blue Cross Blue Shield little league at Osgood, is that right? Yeah, every Thursday afternoon, uh, former co-workers, retirees, current co-workers come Perfect. out and we just play. That's we just a lot of fun. pick up and play with whoever. Awesome, so your charity of choice on the show today? Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Okay. I have a couple uh, young relatives in my family that uh, suffer from that, and I think there could be a cure someday, so I'm giving my money to that. Absolutely. Well, let's go win some money for that, uh, for that charity, and, and uh, we're all pulling for you. All right. Good luck. Just a reminder, folks, that the closest shot will win $1,000 to their charity of choice, and will also qualify for the Bell Bank charity bonus putt at the end of the show to double that donation from $1,000 to $2,000 and also to qualify for the final championship show under the lights where the closest shot will win over $6,000 to their charity of choice. Jeff Hagen, first shot. Beauty. Oh boy, it's, it's all over it. Too, if that's the right club. Be right. Oh, be good. Yeah. Oh, great shot to start. Great that's shot. That's in there about six, seven feet, it looks take like. Take some pressure off on the second swing. <laughs> yeah, but I feel a lot that? better. Air is out of the balloon. Perfect. Dave, as a guy who's played on tour, what yeah. can you tell these guys about relaxing or trying to stay focused in situations like this? Well, if you get if you focus on the fact that all the uh, extracurricular extracurricular things that can take you off your game, but it really it also helps you to get super focused on what you're doing. And well, it worked right. on the first one, first not quite the second great. one, but hey, it, all it takes is one, right? You don't even need a mulligan. First shot was great. Way to go. Thanks. Nice job. Stick around. That's the first two contestants done on the Osgood episode. We'll be right back after this for the third through sixth. Natural talent, physical gifts, training advantages. To become a champion, none of that matters. True champions are the ones who are comfortable working harder, staying later, and finding that competitive edge. They are never satisfied simply doing a good job because those who transform themselves from local talent into local folklore are the ones who continually perform beyond their limits. Bell Bank, proudly supporting champions everywhere. We're living in a different time right now. There's so much uncertainty and it's hard to know what's coming next. But there's at least one thing we can trust, our ability to pull through this together. 
So for right now, stay safe, remain strong, and keep on going. And soon enough, we'll be back. We'll come out on top, and we'll be stronger than ever before. Together. Every day is a new beginning. And with hot spring spas and pool tables too, it's a chance to start fresh so you can go after life and achieve your goals. Immerse yourself, then unleash yourself to all that life has to offer. And when the day is done, we'll help you get ready for what's next. Heat that awakens, clear, crisp water that invites, and vitality that drives your day, every day. Hot spring spas and pool tables too. Every day, made better. Royal Jewelers, downtown Fargo. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Hole in One Show presented by Bell Bank. We've gone through our first two contestants on the Osgood episode, and we already have a great shot in there, six feet, 11 inches, from Jeff Hagen. Next up, we have Stuart Lamp. Stuart, come on in. How are you doing, Dave? I'm doing well. Thanks for being on the show. Awesome. Awesome to be here. Congratulations on qualifying. I know you've you tried quite a bit, and yep. you made it. Good job. Got in there. It took a few shots, but eventually, I'm here. All right. Well, why don't you share with everybody where you're from, and what do you do? Well, I'm from a little farm north of Edgeley, North Dakota. That's where I grew up. I live in West Fargo now. Uh, I'm a chiropractor. Uh, my clinic is Fluid Motion Chiropractic. I'm associated with the clinic in West Fargo. We're a block west of 9th Street East off of 13th Avenue okay. East. Okay. Very yep. good. So how about your golfing background? Uh, how, how long have you played? Where do you normally play? And you kind of jump around, don't you? Yeah, I started playing when I was pretty young out there on the farm. We played down around Edgeley, and sure. I got my first hole-in-one when I was 12, okay, all right. and I watched this show every, every week all summer long. This was a part of my growing up. It was really cool. So it's glad to be back. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, charitable giving is the mission statement. So yes. what uh, charity are you playing for? I'm playing for Family Voices of North Dakota. Family Voices is a statewide organization that helps families who have chronically ill or disabled children to find community or statewide programs to help them and assist them any way they can. Excellent. Well, what a great opportunity for you to stick a, clo a shot close and donate yeah. some money uh, to that cause. What do you have today? What club uh, are we using? I'm getting an eight iron. Eight iron? Yeah. Yeah. I'll give that a try. Very good. 155 yards. Good luck. Thank you. Make it happen. i got to say our Osgood guys are not just good players, but really great people too. Absolutely. Fun guys, great characters, and committed. How many of them paid a lot of money and tried many, many times to get on the show? They wanted to be on the show. Commitments. And, it's and very I mean, important. If we could have televised the qualifier, this would have been the one to televise. It was that much fun. Ooh, that's a great shot too. It's that's the right there? stick. Get there. Get there. Oh, that's a great shot. shot. Came up a little short. About 25, 30 feet away, but... Same club? How'd that feel? Uh, I caught it a little high on the face. I'm going to try and hit... It's the right club? Yeah. Okay. Again, closest shot, $1,000 to their charity of choice. And then they'll come back for the Bell Bank charity bonus putt at the end of the show to double that to 2000 Stuart Lamp, second shot. Six feet, 11 inches is what he needs to beat. These are nice rides, aren't they? Just knock it in and drive away in a Camaro. That would be great. We were having that conversation earlier about who, if your kids are going to fit in that or not, <laughs> and they're still taking the Camaro. That's right. <laughs> Get up there. Get left. Looking pretty good. Good shot. Oh, that is a great shot. And that does, that's, oh, that Ooh, is in the circle close. again. It just, it's on, it's inside the circle. Might be just outside 611, but great shot. Thanks. Nicely good done, job, Stuart. Man. Thanks for being part of the, part of the show. Okay. Next up on the Osgood episode, we want to welcome in Mike Wentz. Mike, good to see you. Hey, how are you? Welcome. Thank you. Great to have us. So uh, let's talk a little bit about you, where you're from, and what do you do professionally? Uh, I'm from Minot, North Dakota originally. Uh, I've lived in uh, the Fargo-Moorhead area since early 2000s. 
Uh, I've worked at uh, Ward Muscatel Automotive Group for a little over the last 10 years, so um, don't get to play much golf, but uh, looking for a fun day today. Well, you're a nice, uh, nice player, good swing. What's your handicap? Uh, I don't play much anymore, but I would say I played about a two or a three yeah. if I get out a bit more. Excellent player. Now, you were part of the qualifier. You came to the first day, and you were in inside the top six. And you showed up for the second qualifier to kind of protect your spot, and you did have to come in and hit another shot, didn't you? I did. I got bumped with about 10 minutes left, so I had to throw some more money in and uh, donate and go at it again. Absolutely. Well, it's all for good causes. And speaking of, what's your charity of choice today? Uh, I'm a big hockey fan, so I'm going to support uh, Matt Cullen, uh, play for Cully's Kids. Good job, good job. All right, let's go. Mike is a really great player, so mm -hmm. the fact yes. that he hardly plays and still can carry your two or three handicap, good for him. Yeah, you can tell people that, uh, tell players that have natural hand and eye coordination. It's yeah. not easy to not play and then come out oh. and play well. <laughs> Golf is a very difficult game, and it gets a lot easier with reps, but when you don't play very often, be near a scratch golfer, it's pretty impressive. Six feet, 11 inches. Keep this looks really back good. A little it's bit. got a chance. Come on. Keep turning in. Yeah, oh, that's great a shot. Nice shot. Beauty. Ooh, even it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Knock it in there a couple feet or just make it just to make sure. Nice swing, though. Very nice. Now, three of these guys play on our uh, in the same team in our Oscar Men's League. So well, let's talk about fair. talk about a loaded <laughs> team, huh? Right. A little heavy, but that first one was really good. Big, Big bounce, bounce, maybe. Yep, go. Nice shot, Mike. Still a, still a nice good shot. Nice shot, Mike. We're going to yeah. get the tape measure out and see if you maybe clipped 6 feet 11 inches. We'll see. That's the third and fourth contestant for the Osgood episode. Stick with us. The fifth and sixth is up next. We're living in a different time right now. There's so much uncertainty, and it's hard to know what's coming next. But there's at least one thing we can trust our ability to pull through this together. So for right now, stay safe, remain strong, and keep on going. And soon enough, we'll be back. We'll come out on top, and we'll be stronger than ever before, together. Jack Shivers here. The rumors of my retirement are fake news. You can now find me at Remax Lake Region. I have a fine selection of never before offered exclusive properties. This secluded log home on Detroit Lake offers 180 front feet of level sandy beach and ample space for family and entertaining. Its 5,000 plus square feet includes four bedrooms, three and a half baths, a bonus room, a gorgeous gourmet kitchen, and a beautiful 30 foot Riverstone fireplace. To learn more, go to lakesremax.com or call Jack Shivers. Natural talent, physical gifts, training advantages. To become a champion, none of that matters. True champions are the ones who are comfortable working harder, staying later, and finding that competitive edge. They are never satisfied simply doing a good job because those who transform themselves from local talent into local folklore are the ones who continually perform beyond their limits. Bell Bank, proudly supporting champions everywhere. Every day, we're challenged. The coronavirus has challenged to remain strong for our families, resilient for our businesses, and brave for our communities. And the power to overcome these challenges lies in what can't be taken away. Welcome, Governor Burgum. Our ability to share ideas, the innovative ways to do business, the generosity from our neighbors, and the kindness of strangers inspire and prepare us for greatness tomorrow. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hole in One Show presented by Bell Bank. Well, the measurement's been done and Jeff Hagen is still in the lead at 6 feet 11 inches. We have two players left to see if they can clip 6 feet 11 inches and hey, maybe make a hole in one to win a brand new Camaro or brand new Chevy Blazer thanks to Gateway Chevrolet. Let's bring in Reed Anderson as our fifth contestant. Reed, welcome to the Hole in One Show. Thanks, thanks for having me. 
Happy to have you. Now, with the day of the qualifying, you were bellied up and saying, what was going on out there? Recruited you to come out, and now here you are in the show. Yeah, I decided to play, and, you know, it, something happened. I hit a good shot, and there you go. That's awesome. That's awesome. So uh, tell us about yourself. Where are you from, and what do you do professionally? I'm originally from Faustin, Minnesota. I live in Fargo now. Um, I do commercial flooring all over the area, I guess, Fargo, Moorhead, Grand Forks. Um, have a wife and two kids. I'd like to say hi to Ruby and Sawyer, by the way, my two biggest fans. Very cool. So. Absolutely. I know they're rooting for you today. So yep. uh, charity of choice? Uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation. I love what they do for the kids. And sure. Yep. All right. Two shots, 155 yards. Your golf background, what's your handicap? I'm a 5.1. Been golfing at Osgood for probably the last 11 years since I moved okay. to Fargo. So, yep. All right. And what club do you have today? I got an 8 iron. Seems to be shot. popular. Yep. Yeah, it seems to be popular. A little win. To a car today. Let's go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm done talking. I want to win a Camaro. Reed already decided he's taking the Camaro. All right. His kids are going to get a ride with somebody else. <laughs> Not very family friendly. But, you know, <laughs> hey, right. if you make it, you get whatever car you want of the two there. And... Six feet, 11 inches is the number to beat. Good swing, little left, little over hook. Like you know, that club, though. Normally, we get a little breeze here too from the coming from that side, bringing the ball in. So to have a day this beautiful with no breeze at all is yeah, it can get windy at nice. Maple River for sure. So we're uh, we're thrilled with this day. Beautiful day, great contestants, great pros. Thanks for being here, Lisa. Oh, thanks for doing this. Oh, Ooh, don't quit on it. Be thick. Through the tree. Thin to win. Thin to win, right? Look at oh, that. through the right. tree. Oh. Oh, All right. <laughs> nice aim. Yeah, I mean, you know, whatever. A little nervous, but. Hey, good job. Yeah, thanks, thanks for being thanks with for us. Me. You bet. All right, six feet, 11 inches is still in the lead, and we're up right here. Our final contestant, Taylor Henriksen. Taylor, welcome to the show. Thanks, Dave. So what do you think? Six feet, 11 inches. You, you feeling confident? 155 yards. I'm confident, but that's a great shot. It's going to be tough to beat. So where are you from and what do you do professionally? I am from Barnesville, Minnesota. Um, I work for RDO Equipment right now in the construction team. Um, been playing golf most of my life that I can remember. Started out with my dad very young. Uh, played in high school, college at Valley City State and just kind of been playing tournaments here and there ever since. Yeah, you've got great swing and, and definitely a tournament player. What's your handicap these days? I'm playing at a point six right now. Okay, another good stick, another good stick from Osgood. Uh, what uh, charity of choice? Uh, for love of dog rescue. Always been a dog guy. Uh, just looking to hopefully help them out and you know give the dogs an opportunity for a better life. Excellent, well, let's go. All right, thank you. Taylor's got a swing. There's well, no with doubt. a point six. Yeah. I mean, he's got to be able to get around too. a golf course. <laughs> yeah, he's got to gotta have a good short game to, to be able to score. But Osgood's a great place for that with our short game facilities. You know, if you're not good at getting the ball in the hole, that's the best place to come practice. Absolutely. If you're not getting better there, it's your own fault. Right? That's right. <laughs> Six feet 11, number to beat. Good swing. Oh boy, that could it's be real good. There. That's pin come high, on. folks. That could be close. Good shot. That is a good shot. Uh, just left. Pretty close distance wise though. It's gotta be the right stack. About 20 feet away, just short left of the 15 foot circle. Definitely like that club in his hands. Well, we know he'd make that putt. Oh, yeah. That's the difference. No big deal. Yep. Just a two. All right, everybody. Come on. Come in. Stick right there. Ah, uh, good shot. Oh, just outside the ring. Really pin Thanks, high, Taylor. though. Beautiful shot. Appreciate it. Thanks for being part of the show. Well, folks, Jeff Hagen, 6 feet, 11 inches. Round of applause for Jeff Hagen. When we come back, the Bell Bank Charity Bonus Putt, Jeff will have a chance to double his donation from 1,000 to 2,000. Stick with us.
On the golf course, I couldn't see the ball, and I had to say, would you mind keeping an eye on my ball? My eyesight was deteriorating, and I didn't know it. I had to keep getting new glasses. Another prescription chain, Dr. Thome said, it's time to do cataract surgery. My only relationship with cataracts are my grandparents. It is arguably the most amazing thing I've ever been through. I end up watching now my son's golf balls and everybody else because I can see them and they can't. Natural talent, physical gifts, training advantages. To become a champion, none of that matters. True champions are the ones who are comfortable working harder, staying later, and finding that competitive edge. They are never satisfied simply doing a good job because those who transform themselves from local talent into local folklore are the ones who continually perform beyond their limits. Bell Bank, proudly supporting champions everywhere. Grow your career with a family-oriented and fun company. MVM Contracting, the area's specialist in underground construction, fiber optic services, and directional boring, is looking for qualified people to join its team. Positions include backhoe operator, drill locators and operators, foremen, laborers, and utility locators. MVM offers excellent benefits, including competitive wages, paid vacation, 401k match, health insurance, and travel perks. Apply now at mvmcontracting.com. We're living in a different time right now. There's so much uncertainty, and it's hard to know what's coming next. But there's at least one thing we can trust. Our ability to pull through this together. So for right now, stay safe, remain strong, and keep on going. And soon enough, we'll be back. We'll come out on top, and we'll be stronger than ever before. Together. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hole in One Show presented by Bell Bank. We're here in the ninth green and Jeff Hagen has won $1,000 to his charity of choice by hitting it six feet, 11 inches. What do you think? It was a pretty lucky shot, but uh, I, hit it, I hit it square. <laughs> it just takes one, right? Yeah. Yep. So now we're on the green, you've got two putts from 20 feet and an opportunity to double that donation from 1,000 to 2,000. So we know you can hit it close from 155. What's our putting game like today? Not strong. Oh. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Under promise, over deliver, hopefully, right? All right, knock it in there. Right. Two, two putts from 20 feet, and Jeff's also qualified to be on the championship show under the lights, representing Osgood, where the closest shot will win over $6,000 to that player's charity of choice. A little firm, stayed out left, does break left to right. Second chance, $1,000 putt for your char charity of choice. Here we go. Could be. Oh, good try. Hey, $1,000, cystic fibrosis, congratulations, and you'll be back for the championship show representing Osgood. Yep. Closest shot on that show will be over $6,000 to your charity of choice. Nice. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Good job. I want to welcome back in Lisa Schwinden. Thanks for joining us. This was a lot of fun. Oh, great. Now, Osgood guys, always, always fun. No, no, the important part about golf is having a good time. We'll have a great season, and uh, I know you have a lot of programs going on. Thanks for everything you do for golf in this community. Thank you, Dave. You bet. Well, folks, that'll do it for the Osgood episode. Tune in next week. Hey, we might give away a car. <laughs> <laughs>